Hey guys, it's Naira. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going I'm so sorry my hair has never done videos. I just do my makeup first. This summer inspired makeup look and I am actually living for this right now. I think it came out so good and it was really fast. Like it's not a complicated makeup look. So yeah, if you want to see how I did any of this, then just keep on watching. Hey y'all, so we're going to be starting with um i'm going to prime a little different today i'm taking the smashbox photo set finishing powder look at me i got the name right today and i'm putting this under my foundation so that none of my makeup moves around and i will not be a oil ball because it is hot outside so we expect oil sweat things of the sort oh, I'm taking what I think is about to be my favorite foundation again, the Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse. I'm in the shade 120 Caramel, and this fits me pretty well. I'm first going to be taking a little bit of it on this really dense concealer brush that I use for everything, and tapping it on these spots of discoloration on my forehead. When the discoloration is like this, you know, much, it's kind of hard. I might just sign a petition. I'm scared to let somebody in on this. No, no, man, no, no, no. You gotta let this go. Oh, I'm gonna go with it. I wanna be more than a show that you can cry on. Girl, am I your type or do I not have the right to know? The saddest old girl. Say my name, say my name. When no one is around, you say, baby, I love you. I'm ready for a change. Say my name. When I'm blending out my forehead, I like to use the oval brush because it will help me blend the product into my hairline. Because I don't want to look like I'm wearing a mask, even though y'all know I'm wearing a mask. Right, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me in 35 Deep. Y'all saw me try this and get all the way shook by how much I liked it, so I'm going to keep using it. Since I've tried this, I haven't picked up my LA Girl Pro Conceal. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little nervous. I can't just leave her to dry like that. That's not what she came here for. Where we learn these values, I do not know what to tell you. I'm just trying to find a reason not to go out every evening. I need someone that'll help me think of someone besides myself. I need someone I leave through the front door with. Cause we don't want to hide no more. Plus she not shy no more. Neither of us want to play the side no more. No, I'm not alone. Even though nothing was the same. Let me get your ass up. After my concealer is blending out, I'm taking setting powder and setting my under eyes immediately this trick has completely fixed my issue of under eye creasing my name you acting kind of shaded baby why the sudden change say my name say my name Before I go on with the face, I'm going to start with the eyes. I'm taking the Fit Me Concealer and the Smashbox Photo Finish Powder to prime my eyes. Call you when it's early, even call you when I'm busy, but if you call me and I miss it, I hit you right back, can't believe we're just friends. This is what I've been saying. Going into the Modern Renaissance Palette, I'm taking Real Gar as my transition shade, and then I'm taking Red Ochre. And I'm putting that in my crease and the outer half of my lid. Say, yeah, ain't got shit else to say. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, no. Did I just potentially ruin a good song? I don't know, but I'm a freestyle. Off my mind, off my mind. Take them clothes. Off one time, baby, you are finally mad. Say my name, say my name. No one is around you. Say my name, I love you if you ain't running game. Say my name, say my name. You acting kind of shit. 
to be carving out a bit of a half cut crease but it doesn't have to be super precise I'm doing this just to like make the color pop because I'm gonna be taking yellow and yeah having concealer down as a base before it will not only make it look more neat but it will help me get some color payoff out of this yellow So I'm wetting my brush and taking this yellow right here in this big elf palette, putting it where I just cut the crease. So now the eyes are done and I'm loving it. I'm gonna put on liquid liner and lashes off camera and then I'll be back to finish my face. Eyes are done and I'm loving them. I'm going to be taking a Nika K cream foundation that is darker than my skin tone to cream contour and then I'm going to set the cream contour with my, my Sephora contour massage palette. Obviously, I'm using a cream product right now, but every time I go to use a cream product, I always tap off the brush and feel stupid without fail every single time. Taking a little kabuki brush just to blend out the contour a little. Alright, and now to finish off, actually, no. Now to almost finish off the look, I'm taking my e.l.f., you already know, the cream blush palette, the same color because I've been obsessed since I tried it. And for highlighter, I'm taking my e.l.f. highlighting bronzer because I obviously just love e.l.f.'s face products and I'm applying that to my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And now for lips, I'm going to be doing a kind of like nude tone ombre lip. Okay guys, that is the finished. Okay, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I did. It was fun to film and I really like the way that my makeup came out today. So if you did like this video, you can give this video a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.